From Hollywood, it's stand-up in stilettos. On stage tonight, she's been called the female comic for men, Debbie Gutierrez. Now, if you think relationships are no laughing matter, then you clearly haven't witnessed the hilarity of our first funny lady. She's appeared on Lifetime, Bravo, and HBO. She's been called the female comic for men and the women they love, but I call her free therapy. Get ready to be healed. Here's Debbie Gutierrez. You know what's funny is for this uh, for this gig they said uh, they sent out a wardrobe note and they said stilettos like they have to tell a Latina to wear stilettos, right? <laughs> Where's the Latinas? Where are you? Woo! Stay, because we have to clean up. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we wear our stilettos everywhere. We wear them to give birth. We wear them to the park. We'll wear them to the DMV. My favorite place to see us is at the park, and we're sinking in the grass going, come on, come on, we'll be late for the piñata. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. We look all purdy in our black bra and our white blouse. Oh, girl, you know it. You know it, all them kids behind you. Come on, let's go, let's go. Such pretty ladies, and we have some gentlemen in the audience. Love the men, I love the men. But ladies, let me say this about the men. Not like us. They're not like us, equal but different, right? Yes, yes. And you know, the amazing thing is that we always want to be in their world. We always want to be part of them. You guys, if you have a husband or a boyfriend, take a look at him. He's not a big, hairy chick. He's a man. He's a dude. He's a dude. Let him be a dude, right? Let him be a man. They're different. We're nothing like them. For example, I would never hit you in the vagina. <laughs> and think that was hilarious, right? Just punch you right there and go, ah, <laughs> and you go, ah, <laughs> and then we go to Macy's. That would never happen, would it? <laughs> it is stupid. You know why? Because every guy knows the capital of Thailand. What's the capital of Thailand, guys? Bangkok. You know how they know that? <laughs> Hit in the weenie by a friend. It's by a friend, too. He hits you hard, too, doesn't he? Bam! And you're like, oh, I should have seen it coming. <laughs> <laughs> if a woman hasn't seen another woman in, like, a lot of years and she's gained a lot of weight, would you say anything? No. Oh, love your hairdo. It's beautiful. If a man hasn't seen his friend in years and he's gained weight, he'll call him out. What happened to you, man? Look at you, you're as big as a house, Steve. And Steve doesn't care, he's all, look at it, look at it. <laughs> if one of you ladies got hurt, I would take you to the hospital. We would go straight to the hospital, we wouldn't stop anywhere. I would get your cell phone, I'd call somebody, we would be like sisters at the hospital. When a guy goes to the hospital with his friend, it's because he caused it. <laughs> Right? I was watching a show called Tales from the ER. Tales from the ER, men drink, hurt themselves, go to the emergency room. That's the whole show. <laughs> so I watch it with my husband and son because they thought it was hilarious. And these two guys went drinking and spearfishing. Who thought of that? How does that dovetail? And they were so drunk, and they hadn't even left the dock yet, and one of the guys caught a beautiful fish, but went on to spear his friend with the same spear. <laughs> Thank God they weren't so drunk they tried to yank it back out. Oh they knew we have to go get surgery. So I get that you have to go to the hospital with the fish, okay? <laughs> what I don't get is somewhere between the hospital and the boat, they had stopped at an AM PM for a chest of ice for the fish. <laughs> yes! Oh yeah, we're gonna barbecue this, yeah. <laughs> My husband has a couple friends named Danny. Now here's how they tell themselves apart. There's Big Danny. Big Danny's okay being Big Danny, you know why? Cause he's not Fat Danny. There's a Big Danny, a Fat Danny. You know who's okay with all this? Medium Danny. Oh, Medium Danny, like I'm Medium Danny. <laughs> Us. They're completely different. We talk, 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 talk. Men, not so much, not so much, but God bless them when they listen. You ever see them listening to you? They're like, okay, 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 because they know there's going to be a quiz. They know there's going to be a quiz. <laughs> that was a name. I should have known that. 
poor guys, right? <laughs> now, you want a secret to a happy, healthy marriage? I wrote a book proposal, and it was getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter, because all I can say, because I've been married for 100 years, happy, happy, happy. And you know what the secret is, ladies? It's so easy, so easy. Two things you have to do for your man. This is all you have to do for your man, just these two things. Are you ready? Okay, if he's hungry, feed him. Feed him, feed him. Those bastards will eat corn dogs six nights in a row. They don't care. <laughs> they will bet. Oh, yeah, with tater tots. You know I like me a tater tot, girl. They don't care. <laughs> if he's hungry, feed him. If he's horny, do him. Do him. That's it. Doesn't he want to talk, Debbie? Does he? No, he doesn't want to talk. This is how he says everything. He's talking. <laughs> That's power. You have all the power. I was written up in a magazine. They said, that Debbie Gutierrez sets women back 100 years and leaves women powerless. Are you kidding me? Ladies, you have all the power in your relationship. Your man comes home, he had a bad day. Can you fix it? No. He opens up his paycheck. Can it go far enough this month? No, you can't fix that either. Some guy rode him all the way home on the freeway, didn't even give him any space. You can't fix any of that. That guy comes in hungry, tired, frustrated. And you, my dear, are standing there naked with a cupcake? <gasps> That's power, sisters. 